let's head to Oshogbo in Oshun State, where Senator Ademola Adeleke, the governor of Oshun State, joins us virtually live. It's good to see you. Ramadan Karim to you. Governor Adeleke, thank you so much indeed. Congratulations on your victory today at the appeal court. And let me start by asking you, how does the appeal court verdict come to you? Well, um, you see, I mean, I just have to thank God because I believe uh, uh, that God uh, God has really vindicated uh, me by the July 16 election. That my people in Oshu State, they voted for me massively. And of course, I told uh, the world that the lower court, the um, tribunal, the lower, the lower court, did what they call this college of justice. And now, at the appeal, they have cleared everything, and of course, have found me as the authentic governor in you know, Oshu State. And uh, um, the Oshu people, I have to thank them for their massive support. I dedicate this victory to God and to the Oshu people. All right. L let me. You you lost one. You've won one. Same with the APC and uh, former governor Boyega Oyetola. He won one and he's lost in this one. But from what the lawyers are saying, it doesn't look like this is going to be the end of the road. This can also still go to the Supreme Court. But what would you have to say to the opposing side? Well, you know, the democracy is at play here. If they feel like they should go to the uh, Supreme Court, you know, you know, so be it. But I, I just believe that we should just uh, move forward and uh, uh, make sure that us should, you know, uh, grow from strength to strength, or they feel like they should go to Supreme Court, I will submit, you know, at the Supreme Court. You seem to be very confident, Governor Adeleke. What gives you that I'm confidence? Gonna, what gives me that confidence? Because I know that my people love me, and I love my people in Oshu State. And they voted for me massively. And the appeal court have already vindicated the whole thing that the primary source of all the uh, so-called overvoting and everything. There was no overvoting. They did not use the uh, the, the, the primary source from the Beaver. And they have you know, used it now that the primary source of the uh, uh, election and the, the everything is from the, is from the Beaver. So, I mean, I'm so confident that my people love me. And of course, I'm sure Shem, you know that we just have we did our, after my July 6th election, the February 20th election has confirmed that I'm the authentic uh, winner of July 6th election. Our party PDP we won all these uh, the, the Senate that we have at 300, the nine representatives that we have in Oshu State we won all. And of course, just completed the uh, 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 House of Assembly last uh, weekend, uh, that is a uh, um, they didn't match 18, and then just concluded we won everything apart from the one that uh, is uh, in a question mark, you know, 25 after 26. So that has confirmed everything. So that's why I'm so confident that uh, my people, my people are with me and uh, they are ready to be with me all the way. Do you have any fears whatsoever? If this goes to the Supreme Court, how much of a belief do you have in the court system? Well, well, what I, what I believe is that the appeal court is a higher court. And the judgment, if you go and read that judgment, is a watertight judgment that no any reasonable you know, judge will go otherwise. It's a very watertight you know, a judgment. So that is why I'm so confident that, uh, you know, I mean, even if they go to Supreme Court, it will still favor me by the special grace of God. I said that there was some jubilation in your camp today. Uh, the ju ju uh, judgment of the appeal court was greeted by jubilation within and around you, even the courtroom today. And some of your aides and uh, some of your fans were saying, even if the election were to be reconducted again today in Oshun State, that you are so popular 
that you will win. But And those of the opposing side said, it won't happen that they can win. They have more popularity on the ground. But you've said your people love you. Beyond the love, I mean, the issue of capacity comes to play. I mean, what kind of assurance are you getting from the people of Oshun said that Ademola Adeleke is the man that actually can govern the, the people of Oshun State at this period? Well, I've demonstrated it during the 100 days. You come over, I'm inviting you, Shem. For my 100 days, I've, I've demonstrated it. In 100 days, what they could not do in four years or even 20 years, I've done it. I've done it you know, for my people within that 100 days. Even some of the most of the, uh, uh, the opposite, opposite side, uh, APC, they commended me. They said, what you cannot do, I came in, I did it in 100 days. Are you going to talk about free, you know, health care? Are you going to, going to talk about the roads? Are you going to talk about the, uh, uh, the uh, 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 free Medicare? Of, you know, what are, you know, supply everywhere in the, in, 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 in the, in the state. I've taught, my, I've taught the people. I'm a grassroots to the core. Come and see the street credibility. I cannot even go out there, go into my office. People will troop out. Since the day I want every day that I go into my office, the governor's office, people will troop out. They'll be calling me Imole. Imole has come to stay here. And when Imole, when light comes, that then vanished. Vanishes. Yeah. What assurance can you give the people of Australia that you will not disappoint them? I mean, they've seen a lot of politicians, they've heard a lot of politicians, but in the lives of the people of Nigeria, there's been a lot of disappointment. They've heard sweet talk all over there. But what assurance can you give the people of Oshun said that you, Senator Adeleke, will not disappoint them? Well, like I, like I said before, I told you, you are familiar with Oshun State. You are a journalist. Calm down or say, send your correspondent. Let them do uh, 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 sample, opinion sample. You know, fact check. I introduce fact check. Everybody is using now. They are not paying me. I introduce fact check. That everything you say, you go and fact check it. Come over to us, you say. Ask your correspondent. Let them go and interview people. The people are happy. And when my people are happy, I'm happy too. So that's why I'm, you know, saying that I, I'm so confident that my people, uh, my people are happy with me. I'm so, I'm so relaxed with them. I'm so relaxed with them. Right. So that's why I'm saying that for for what I've done in 100 days, they ain't seen nothing yet. I see how some goodies for my people. Like I always tell you, I always, I always told you that it will be coming one by one, bagam, bagam. I pay salaries. Even the 2015 salary, 2015, 16, they did not pay. I paid it. Because the British pensioner who have been dying, I paid them. And I've not owed any money. And I've not borrowed any money. They are wondering, where is Governor Lilike? Where does he get this money? I block all the leakages. I block all the leakages. No more corruption. And I have my brain. I'm using it. I like people to underrate me. Now, everybody's surprised now. And we have a lot in stock for my people on Oshun State. Oshun State, here I come again. You know, you'll be happy all the way. All right. On a final note, just before I allow you, because I know I took you out of your uh, usual uh, Ramadan activities in the evening, uh, and I promise I won't be uh, on you for too long. But what lesson do you think this process has taught you as a person and as a leader in your state? Is there any fundamental well, lesson this process has taught you? It has taught me a lesson that, uh, which I, I knew you know, a long time ago. And listen, if you're going to be a leader, you have to have a fear of God. And you have to make sure the dividend of democracy. I always, I told myself, I always, I always have that uh, 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 belief that any opportunity that I get to serve my people, I must make my people happy. I must make sure that the dividend of democracy is at play here. And they are seeing it. They are used to people, you know, talk, 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 talk. But me, I don't talk. I'm actual governor. When I say something, everything that I'm, I, 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 I spoke about all the promises already in that one region. I can't. So I don't, I don't believe in talking. Action. You go over, like I said, tell your people, or you come over yourself and look at all the things that we have done in, uh, in Australia. And I promise my people that I will never, 
disappoint them. I will still keep doing it until we get to that promised land. Senator Ademola Adeleke, it's not a day to talk about policy and governance. We just want to touch base with you, get a feel of how things are with you, especially with the appeal court judgment. We do need to find time. Maybe after all this is settled, um, talk about the people of Osho State and what is in for them uh, in the Senator Ademola Adeleke's administration. Well, congratulations again and thank you so much indeed for talking to us. Thank <laughs> you.